So you want to generate some AI art? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's take a look at a couple of great options. We're fortunate to live at a time when there are a lot of really great options for generating stable diffusion and AI generative images. Midjourney has been kind of the reigning king of this space, but there are a lot of really great options that don't require you to fork out any cash. One of the best ones out there, in my opinion, is the newly updated Bing Image Creator. It now uses Dolly 3, the same thing that's used in the back end of ChatGPT. And now for this, you have three different ways you can access it. If you're running a Windows 11 PC, they've got this brand new Copilot option that pops up here on the right hand side of the screen. This is essentially ChatGPT GPT-4 running with Dolly 3 right alongside your desktop. So you can sit here and you can ask it questions all day long. You can have it generate images for you. You can do pretty much anything you do in a paid version of ChatGPT, but it's right here on your Windows taskbar all the time. Another great option is to head over to bing.com, go to slash images slash create, and you can start using Dolly 3 right there in your browser. All you have to do is create a Microsoft account with any of your email addresses that you've got, and you can jump right in and start creating right away. Finally, if you have a paid version of ChatGPT, so you're using GPT+, Plus, you can jump in and GPT-4 by default has vision built in, it has image generation built in, and it's using the same Dolly 3 model on the back end. But today, I don't wanna talk about any paid options, so we're gonna shut off ChatGPT right away, and we're gonna jump into two different things, and we're gonna compare them side by side. On the left-hand side, I've got Stable Diffusion running on a program called Focus. It has three O's in it, so Focus, I guess. This is running on my local hardware, so this runs on my home PC, this is using Stable Diffusion XL, SDXL. Specifically, it's using the Juggernaut XL checkpoint. You can download that off of Civit AI. All it is is a checkpoint that's been trained on some very specialized images, but it's built on top of Stable Diffusion XL. This is running on my home PC, as I mentioned, and it's using my RTX 3090. I've got a powerful GPU, so you can run all these Stable Diffusion models locally. We're gonna compare that side by side with results from Bing Image Creator. So let's jump in and take a look at some of the prompts we're gonna use. Now for prompts, we're gonna jump over to my website, allyourtech.ai. And I happen to have a section in here called AI Art Prompts. If you click on that, you're gonna be greeted with this section of the site as a whole bunch of AI generated stable diffusion art. If you click on any of these images, you'll be able to see not just the image that was created, but also all of the details that went into creating it. Image size, the model used, if it is using Stable Diffusion or Dolly, and then more importantly, the prompt. So what we'll do is we'll copy this prompt. We're gonna drop this directly into Focus, and we're also gonna drop this into Bing Image Creator. I'm gonna try as best I can as to hit Create on both of them at the same time. We'll see what we come back with. And the prompt for this one was a gothic statue carved on the face of a gothic church of an astronaut fighting a giant octopus. This should be pretty interesting. As you can see, first of all, Bing Image Creator came back quite a bit faster. It's already done and it generated four images. I'm still waiting for the two images to come back from the stable diffusion. And again, this is running on an RTX 3090. So this is high-end hardware, but we'll get into why this is maybe a better solution for some of you in just a minute. All right, so here on the left, we've got the Stable Diffusion Juggernaut XL images. This came out pretty cool. It's not so much that it's fighting an octopus, it just sort of looks like there's an astronaut entangled with an octopus, kind of interesting. I like the detail, it's a nice photo, uh, but I think the stuff that came back from Bing might be a little bit more interesting. Let's take a look at a couple of these. That's interesting, uh, it looks like it's kind of an octopus man, like almost a mermaid, but a person, really, Fascinating. We've got another one. This one's a woman fighting some sort of flying octopus monster. That's pretty cool. I've noticed that each one of these so far, okay, with the exception of this one, has had a, a gun or a weapon in it, which I find interesting, especially coming from Bing, since they kind of censor a lot of things typically with these results. And another one. That one's really cool. Uh, I actually really like that one a lot. So good showing from. I would say Bing takes this one. Again, this second image from Stable Diffusion doesn't even really look like there's an octopus. It's a cool sort of statue, but nothing to do with sort of the prompt, other than he has this ring around his neck, which you could loosely say is part of an astronaut's sort of spacesuit. On to the next one. 
And for our second prompt, we're gonna use a 35 millimeter film photography of a crystal skull being found in a jungle, soft light, lots of green, grainy filter. Let's see what comes back. All right, this time we'll start here on the left with what came back from Stable Diffusion. And I've gotta say, these are pretty incredible. Look at the intricate detail. You can see all these like cracks and lines. It looks like it's actually made out of stone. This looks like a real stone skull. And so does this second one. These are really high quality. The lighting's nice, the shadows, kind of the soft lighting effects. It's on this sort of mossy covered rock. Really, really cool overall. On the other hand, we've got Bing, and it looks like Dolly came back with unsafe image content detected. Your image generations are not displayed because we detected unsafe content in the image based on our content policy. Please try creating again with another prompt. So interestingly, it'll create pictures that depict violence with weapons, but it will not create a rock crystal skull. Interesting. Let's try another. And for our third prompt, we're gonna use high quality photograph, 70 millimeter Todd AO film of a Transformers like robot of a turtle. Now that came back really quick this time. Start with stable diffusion on the left. This looks like a definitely a turtle, some sort of me mechanized robot version of one. Pretty interesting. Uh, looks fairly photorealistic. And the second one, uh, <laughs> all right, it looks like a transformer. I don't know so much about a turtle, but interesting result nonetheless. Definitely say the first one is the better of the two images. Meanwhile, on the Bing side, let's take a look at a couple of these. So this first one, definitely a turtle. It's huge. This is just massive. You can see sort of it's running along the beach or up here, and its scale and size is just astronomical so that's pretty cool second one again really large robot you can see sort of a bus behind it doesn't look like a turtle but this one's still kind of interesting as a transformer again not really getting a turtle vibe here but definitely a transformer and the last one again not really catching that turtle vibe so it looks like uh, the first one and both image generators came out with a pretty cool looking image that you could use for whatever purpose you had for this. So which one of these is the winner? Well, I think Dolly 3 is a really highly capable model and they've gone through great strides and lengths to make it something that almost rivals mid-journey in a lot of ways. On the other hand, it still has some pretty severe limitations in the fact that Bing, Dolly, OpenAI, they like to censor a lot of things that we put into these systems. I personally don't like my hand being held when I'm using artificial intelligence. I like to be the one that makes the judgment call of whether something is quote unquote safe or unsafe. I don't like somebody else telling me and making that decision for me. So based on that alone, I would lean towards running your own local stable diffusion setup with something like SDXL. If you'd like to see my PC specs for that, jump down in the description. I've got my entire PC build for my stable diffusion setup. I think the last point I'm gonna make is around copyright. Now, it's pretty clear that if you generate an image using Stable Diffusion on your local PC, you can use it for commercial purposes. There haven't been any laws passed that prevent you from doing that. And there's nothing that says today that AI generated art is subject to copyrights. The AI doesn't own the copyright to it. Now, on the other hand, something generated with Bing is subject to Microsoft's terms of use and service. Today, I think you probably won't have an issue using it for commercial purposes, but I'm not a lawyer and Microsoft has a lot of very expensive, high paid lawyers. So use your own judgment there. If you found this interesting, I'd love for you to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more of my videos coming up. Otherwise, I'm Brian Lovett. This is All Your Tech AI. We'll catch you next time. Thank you so much.